For the love of God, use the large club! So, why the heck are we picking a club? That's a great question, because the club lets you do this. Now, other weapons let you stagger enemies too, like the unsheathed weapon art on the katanas. It has some pretty high stagger values. So then, what makes the club a better option than, say, an unsheathed uchi katana? Well, the club has a secret weapon bonus that I like to call the unga bunga factor. You see, when you need to get an enemy to drop a knee like they're in the pastor's office for some private Bible study on a Sunday, then you just need to press the light attack button. That's literally one brain cell's worth of activity. The premise of my campaign for the large club is that it allows you to interact with the game in a simple manner. Clubs give you an easy, frequent access to staggers which slow down the pace of the fight, but they also cause a high amount of poise damage. In the red light, green light exchange of damage in Elden Ring, most weapons make you wait to attack after there is an opening in the enemy's attack chain. Much like in real life though, the introduction of a club changes the way you interact with the world around you. For instance, bring a club to a suburb, you have a cool local spot to never visit because you're too busy playing Elden Ring. Bring a club to a seal, you get PETA screaming at you kicking down your door. Bring a club to Elden Ring, and enemies no longer get to attack. Clubs have such high poise break values that you can swing into an enemy during their own turn, and oftentimes you just overwrite their attack. The club actually softens the most steep learning curve in the game, which is learning the actual individual enemy attack patterns. See this clean rot knight over here? He wants to serve me, a metric order of hot steamy fuck with a baggie on the side to hold my runes. But you fool, I've got the large club. There is no your turn anymore. It's just always my turn. What's that, Melania? You think you're going to have a turn and waterfowl me? More like what a foul thing I'm about to do when I get this stagger off. Ah! Like I said, this thing makes it easier to deal with enemy attacks because they just don't get to attack. Even in the Melania footage, you can see that I plan around hitting stagger thresholds to more consistently make playing aggressively a part of my core club strategy. And you should play aggressively. In most boss encounters, you will get at least one to two staggers, and if you're really in the zone, you can get three to four. The club means that I don't have to worry about damage optimization or worry about losing blood loss buildup or losing my virginity while we're at it. I can play the game at my own pace and grant myself more breaks in those moments where I do get those staggers. Oh, and did I mention? The club's strike damage is super effective against some of the most annoying enemies in the game. Crystallians just melt beneath the might of your strikes. Skeletons get boned by the clobbering of your club. Stone trolls get the smack from your mega bonk attack. So I know what you're thinking. Wow, I definitely am going to play with the club now. But I bet since it's so awesome, I'm going to have to wait until later in the game to get it. No, start as the wretch. This will give access to the small club. It's like the large club, but it's small. Die to the first boss. Wake up. Go up the elevator. Open the door. Come because you saw Limgrave for the first time. Get told that you ain't got no bitches. You are maidenless. Go get torrent and then run right here. Boom. Large club, congratulations. You can beat the game now. Make sure to stop at CVS and pick up some condoms on your way to market because you, my friend, are ready to fuck. I've got an example spreadsheet of what your final stat spread could look like at endgame. In my first playthrough, I ended around rune level 160, and that's because I did everything, which I highly recommend. For your talismans, we have three core talismans and one flexible one. Our primary damage talisman is going to be the claw talisman, Jump attacks are busted, that's all I gotta say. Pair the Claw Talisman with the Raptor Cloak to make the number get higher than a bunch of people on April 20th at a Bob Marley convention. Our next Talisman is going to be the Star Scourge Talisman. This is a strength build, so we just could use the extra strength off of this Talisman. Make sure you're eating a bowl of Wheaties while you're playing so that you can be as strong as the pixels that you're seeing on your screen. The final part of the equation is the Turtle Talisman. The limiting factor on this build is the green bar. 
the turtle talisman makes sure that the green bar never goes empty. It's that simple. The final talisman slot is a little flexible. You could pick Erd Tree's Favor for an overall well-rounded build, Radagon's Sora Seal if you feel like you've got giant nuts, or the arsenal jar so that you can have your fashion dream come true. Also, let's talk quickly about the stored physic. I would recommend the stone barb crack tier and the opaline bubble tier. These directly support the urge to jump into an enemy attack window and bonk them on the head. This is slightly more advanced, but if you're fighting a boss and you're trying to push for a KO window so you don't have to deal with a mechanic, chug this bad boy and then get to bonking. This makes getting the third or fourth stagger even easier in boss fights. But what if you don't like how the club looks? Well, first off, you are above nothing and you can't even beat the soldier of Godric, so I think we should all just come to terms with that first. But if you are pretentious enough and you think you are better than wielding a tree trunk, then I have good news for you. All of these other weapons in the Colossal Weapon category and the Great Club category also carry these properties. If you want to start delving into incantations, then grab yourself a Faith Scaling Club. If you want to show people how big that noggin is, then grab yourself an Int Scaling Club. If you want to show people how dexterous your fingers are, then... I, I don't know, I think you need a different hobby, like playing the piano or woodworking or sucking dick. So, there you go. Use the large club. Don't forget to pack condoms. Smash the like and subscribe button.